Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is 11th video of our series on configuring Azure uh, Virtual Appliances, Palo Alto Virtual Appliances on Azure platform using Azure Load Balancer for high availability. So in this 11th video, we are going to configure inbound NAT and test RDP traffic from outside and also test outbound internet traffic from the test VMs. All right, so let's go ahead and configure inbound net first. So first process, uh, first step in configuring inbound net is to configure, a, uh, configure our external load balancer. So in our previous videos, we have already provisioned external load balancer and load balancing rules as well. So we have configured one load balancing rule because we wanted to generate some traffic. So this rule has already four double three eight nine allowed from from uh, outside from our public IP. So this is the virtual IP that we have configured on our Azure uh, external load balancer, and this is configured to route all the traffic to double three eight nine. So uh, from external load balancer uh, side, uh, the configuration is already completed. Let's check the health status once. If you go to monitoring and click on insights, you can see the uh, load balancer health. It's, it looks good. So now we'll go to our firewall and configure the uh, NAT policy. So go to your firewall, click on policies and click on NAT. Uh, add a new policy, give it a name. I'll name it as a temp RDP in In original packet section in source zone select untrust in destination zone select untrust as well in destination interface it will be ethernet one by one that's our untrust interface in service let's create a new service for RDP RDP description RDP destination port is triple three eight nine all right source address leave as it is in uh, destination address we'll add the untrust IP of our firewall which is 192.168.200.4 now let's go to translated packet section in this section we'll uh, we'll configure the translation for example, when the traffic is received on this interface, how it should treat. So in a source address translation, select translation type as dynamic IP and port. In address type, select interface address. Interface address will be Ethernet 1 slash 2. And in destination address translation, you can add the IP address of the destination VM. So click on static. So what we are doing is um, we are in, uh, if you go back to original packet, we are receiving tra traffic from untrust zone, which is our outside uh, interface. We are receiving traffic on that. And we are, we are uh, configuring RDP traffic to be any traffic that is RDP on double three eight nine and being received on our untrust interface send it to a destination interface through using the using the source address translation of our trust interface so this is our untrust interface where the traffic is being received original packet is being received and then it's getting uh, translated to uh, the destination IP using the trust interface on our firewall. So Ethernet 1 by 2 is our trust interface. So Ethernet 1 by 2 
will receive all the traffic from the untrust interface and then it will send it to the destination so in our case we have provisioned two virtual machines so let's find out what is the idea if you go to virtual machine section under your azure portal you will find out the test vm let's say we will configure rdp for this vm so click on 10 vm01 go to networking and copy this IP 172.200.100.4 go back to firewall 1 add this IP and translate it port will be 3389 that's it so so the net policy uh, 172.200.100.4 maybe there is some space in there yeah there's space by the way the space that's a, a copy paste mistake all right so let's keep this policy in top because this is very specific policy and we'll we are not expecting a lot of traffic on this policy now go to security policy Click add all right. So RDP temp in source will be untrust and let's keep it any for now again it's not recommended but because this is just a test environment so we'll go with the defaults and destination is trust application leave default and in service we'll select 3389 rdp that's it so similar policies needs to be configured on the firewall too as well so i'll move this policy to the top and then i'll pause the video i'll configure the same policies on firewall too as well once it is done then i'll get back to you so i'll i'm just gonna pause the video for some time all right so uh, we have configured the security policies and the same net policies on both the firewalls and i have also committed the changes so um, now if we go back to our azure portal go to load balancers find out the virtual ip address of our external load balancer go to front end ip configuration Just copy this ip address okay yeah as you can see it's asking for the password so which means that um which means that the uh, it is responding to our traffic so let's put in the username and password hello admin and the password all right so it it is logging in now all right so meanwhile let's track from the firewall if we can see this traffic so let's set port double three eight nine So this is my source IP, it's receiving the traffic. So it is from RDP temp in rule, uh, mistakenly I named it RCP, but it's RDP temp in. So from untrust zone to trust zone, this is the source IP. Let's see if net is being applied. So we'll click, we'll add a field for net, go to columns. Uh, all right, 
let me go to add net applied or not all right so net applied yes so it's showing that the traffic is being received from external and uh, net is being applied it's going to a 192.168.200.4 which is our um, untrust ip on this firewall and then then from this untrust ip it's being sent to the destination so let's click on the magnifying glass here it will give us more details meanwhile we'll check if we manage to log into the firewall uh, to the test vm yes we managed to log in Walls. let's move back while we're still configuring okay so this is our uh, packet details so if you can see yes here the source ip is this destination ip is this and from that the traffic is being routed to the trust interface of our firewall uh, this is our trust interface uh, and then this is the destination all right so this, this is the source section this is the destination and packets are being sent and received so all good uh, we we can see traffic there let's move back to our virtual machine okay so we managed to log in so the IP address which was assigned on the external load balancer, we have used that IP address to uh, to generate traffic from outside and access the service which is in our trust interface, trust network. Now, when we browse um, traffic or when we browse internet from this virtual machine, it should show the WAN IP on our firewall. So let's click on what is my IP. So that is 51.104.234.100.234.100. Let's go back to our Azure portal. Go to virtual machines. And find out which firewall has that dot hundred IP. So we should be checking on the WAN interface, not on the management interface. Management interface is just to access the firewalls from outside. So this is how we are accessing firewalls from outside using the management interface. But when it comes to the outbound internet, it should be the WAN public IP, which is assigned directly on the firewall. So if you go to networking, go to Ethernet one, so this firewall has 20.254.108.153 IP. So it means that outbound net was not working through the firewall one. Let's check on firewall two. That should have dot hundred IP. Go to networking on firewall two. go to ethernet one all right as you can see it has 234.100 ip so this is the same ip that we could see here so now let's try refreshing it multiple time to see if the ip changes yes it does change now it's a firewall one one zero eight dot one fifty three one zero eight dot one fifty three all right so what we should do is to verify that whether the high availability is working or not so what we should do is we should initiate a ping from this virtual machine let's assume this is your web server which you want to be accessible all the time so right now let's uh, assume that the traffic is being uh, processed from the firewall too so what we'll do is let this ping work we'll go back to our azure portal we'll go to our load balancer go to load balancer go to internal load balancer and uh, go to backend tools ok 
Okay, so let's assume it was a firewall number two, firewall two, which was processing all the traffic. So we'll go ahead and remove the firewall two from the load balancer. Trust interface. So here you go. Firewall two is removed. So let's see if there is any impact. We'll monitor it through the command shell as well as the browsing. So our internet is still working. Yep, our internet is still working and there is no impact, not even a single packet drop. Not even a single packet drop. Now let's go back. Let's see if, the, if it is saved or not. Our oh, deployment is still in progress. Let's wait for this deployment to be completed then we'll test. Yeah, now deployment is completed. Let's go back to our virtual machine. There's no impact, there's no increased latency, nothing. All right, so which shows that our firewall is highly available. It means our, the setup is highly available and there is no impact even if single firewall goes down. Now we'll go back to our backend pool. We will add firewall to back. Uh, the trust interface of firewall 2 we will add it back and we will remove the firewall 1 because at the moment if you check there if you check here 108.153 this is firewall 1 IP right so let's add firewall 2 first Once the deployment is completed, now we will remove the firewall one. And remember the IP address on the firewall one is 108.153. If you check here, all the traffic is being processed through 108.153. This is the firewall uh, which this virtual machine is using for the outbound traffic. All right, so let's wait for the deployment to be completed then we will remove the firewall one and we'll see if the yeah, deployment succeeded let's go to our backend pool again we'll remove the firewall one delete and save now let's move while it's deploying we'll monitor from here if there is any packet loss or if there is any yeah so it's still 234.100 which is firewall one deployment is in progress no so it has already moved to the uh, second firewall which is 234.100 234.100 is firewall 2 so it has changed it has already moved to firewall 200 234.100 and there is not even a single packet drop as you can see so which confirms that our firewall setup is highly available for uh, for all the inbound and outbound traffic so what we'll do is we'll go back to our load balancer and add that firewall back So that's it. Uh, if we go back to our project plan, we have configured inbound net and test RDP traffic from outside and we have also tested outbound internet traffic. In last video, we are going to configure uh, and verify east-west traffic through the firewall logs. Uh, we'll configure, we'll uh, generate traffic and we'll also verify. So we'll see you in next video. Please let me know if you have any comments or if there is any confusion. I'll try to clarify in next video. Thank you so much.